Hi, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we're going to do a quick teardown of a Toshiba Portage Z930. That's a Portage Z930 and it's an Ultrabook. Um, what there are is there's actually 13 screws and one torque screw in the middle. So you'll need a torque screw bit to get that middle one out. I've actually removed all the screws just to make it quick. Also the torque screw in the middle is just hidden by a little rubber thing. So you need to remove that to get to the torque screw. All the other 13 screws are normal Phillips head screws and 11 of them are the shorter screws like that and there's actually two longer screws like that which are in the two for the hinges. So once you've removed all them um, you'll be able to um, get into the, the back panel or get off the back panel but also there's a couple of blanks. Uh, for, on mine there's a 3G slot on the side here so just remove the blank for that. And also on the other side, there's an SD card holder blank, which I've just dropped. So just um, we'll just remove that as well from the side. And once you've removed all them, you should be able to get the back panel off. And there we can see we've got the battery, fan, um, memory, um, SSD drive, and your other bits and pieces. So we've got the um, SD card reader, um, the audio ports, video port, um, your USB, your Ethernet, more USB and your 3G. Under this ribbon cable here is your Wi-Fi and this big black thing here is your battery. So if you want to get the battery out, there's another six screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five and there's one there which I didn't actually put back in because I've had this apart before. As you can see, it says one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll quickly remove those other screws. And all this, please remember, is you follow these steps at your own risk, and please take static precautions. If there's any problems, please take it to a computer repair shop or a Toshiba authorized repair center. Uh, once all those six screws are removed, um, there's also a connector here for the battery, so just click that out, which I won't bother with this because you can just remove the actual battery. At the front here, you'll see two little plastic things. They're actually the speakers and they go, they slot into two little plastic things there. So when you put the um, battery back, just make sure they're all slotted in nicely and then you can pop the battery back on top. Uh, for the SSD drive, it's a micro SSD drive, which is here. There's actually another two screws holding that in. So once you unscrew them, it pops up and you can actually remove it and replace the drive. Memory, again, there's two little silver things. Just push them outwards and the memory pops up, which you can then remove. Fan itself, if you need to clean that with compressed air, that's just there. Anyway, I hope you got a lot of or got some useful information about out of this video and if you've got any questions please leave them down below in the comments field. Thank you for watching.